Today we'll be talking about handlers working in a vertical stack offense. The handlers are the core of this offense and they can link attacks down the field by going from one sideline to the other and also beating poaches or stunts from the defense in the front of the formation. Because vertical stack offenses can be predictable downfield and allow the defense to set up poaches, the handler's job is to move the disc and continually change the angle of attack. By doing so, they can allow the downfielders to work one-on-one -on -one instead of having to work against setup or team poaches and switches. How do you want to attack as a vertical stack handler? Well, we need to set up triangles. The importance of the handler triangle is that each of the two cutters always has two different places that they can go. If the defense takes away one, they can go to the other. For the front of the stack handler, those two options are either live side for yardage and an easy throw, or for easy flippy break throws to quickly move the disc and attack the break side. One break throw can allow us to make a second and a third and beat force one way defenses. It's also important that you get to positions quickly. Because the thrower has a lot to think about, the mechanics of the throw, the stall count, any calls they might need to make or cutters that they have to communicate with, it's important that the other handlers are in dependable positions so that when the thrower looks to those players, they always have what they're used to seeing. They can at least read the offense and then try to figure out where the defenders are and what's the most open play. The best vertical stack handlers are very successful at driving their defender. Now they don't have a lot of space to do this. So in one or two jab steps, you're going to have to get your defender thinking about one direction so that you can take the other or even go past them if they're not thinking about that direction enough. Now to really practice this well, we need to practice in ways that make us make game decisions. So we're gonna do the three on three randomizer drill. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna throw the disc somewhere out in this field and I'm gonna call out a mark for the defense. The offense is going to have to form their triangle and they're gonna have five seconds to start the play going back to a handler. So now they're actually making game decisions about where to run. For the first set, I'm gonna tell one player, Nina, that she's gonna pick up the disc. And then later we can work up to any player picking up the disc and we have to adjust to it. So it's more like a game fast break. We're gonna start with the defense forcing backhand and the offense, Nina's gonna pick up the disc, Hallie's gonna go to the dump, and Nels is gonna go to the front of the stack. Ready? Go. Good, and freeze it right there. Now, our problem is that we've set up flat, and the reason we don't like that as much is that you're not gonna have much angle to go upfield, and you're gonna be forced to come back. So where do I want you to set up? 45 and with enough room. Good. Ready and disc in. Good. Defense is forced forehand. Offense ready? Go. Hallie to your right. Good. 45 degrees, line up. Nels gets to the front of the stack. Good. Good. Okay, defense force forehand. Offense ready, go. Good. Excellent, nicely done.